It's a pleasure to welcome former Cougars Max Hall and Trevor Maddich to the program. Good afternoon. The How winningest doing? quarterback in school history and the center for the national championship team. That brings a lot of moxie to the desk here. What have <laughs> you been doing? Uh, you know, a lot of training, a lot of training, a lot of rehabbing on my shoulder. You know, I uh, had that other dislocation right before the season. I had to get my labrum repaired, had to go under the knife and have surgery. But uh, uh, it's now been, you know, eight, nine months since the surgery. It's 100 percent healthy, feeling good. And um, just became a free agent. And I'm, uh, what's that like? It's uh, it's a little bit scary. You don't know what's going to happen. But I know there's some teams out there interested in me. And I know that I'm going to get some workouts and some stuff going on here in the next couple of weeks. And uh, hopefully I land somewhere. I just don't know where it's going to be. Trevor, what's it like to be a free agent? What are some of those emotions? Uh, you're unmoored. That's the thing about being a football <laughs> player is that you've got your locker room. You've got your guys. You've got the coach. You know what color you're going to be wearing. All you know what your schedule's going to be, and all that stuff matters. And as a free agent, all that stuff is now gone. And you're a cork bobbing down the river yeah. until you get reestablished that way. So it's not always the funnest thing in the world. But the thing about Max, though, is he brings so much to the table, and he's valuable in the NFL because he's got the physical skills, but also he understands the game. And there are a lot of guys that can throw the ball that don't have his understanding of where to throw it, why, and when. Watching some of uh, Maddich at work as the Cougars uh, in that national championship season against Michigan, uh, the only national title for football. Uh, as you two guys come back, I'm going to ask you a question in a sec, Max. But as Trevor, uh, Trevor, as you walk out here with all the alumni and, and the players, to everyone know, hey, national champions walking in? They kind of do. Do they? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of cool, isn't it? it it's, it's really cool. It's one of those things that, you know, while you're in it, you're in it. You know, and what matters next is that guy that's going to hit you in the head next. Because you look at the slow motion videos that they play now. Yeah. There's Whitney Houston singing beautiful songs, and it's just this awesome production. But when you're in the moment, there's a guy across the line that weighs 300 pounds that wants to hit you in the mouth and then laugh about it. And so it <laughs> feels different than it looks now. But once it's in the can, it's in the can, and it's always something that you've accomplished. And the camaraderie that you have with the guys that you went through that with is something that's always phenomenal. Some of us haven't seen each other for years, but we get back together, and it feels like we've never been apart. Well, Max, you walk around here, and no quarterback, no matter what their name was, won more football games than you did at BYU. Do you have to? Uh, you have to remind anybody of that? <laughs> no, I don't think I do. You know, it's 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 something that you know, especially the senior class that I played with, really. Um, really enjoy and really, really like the season that we had. And we weren't able to win a national championship, but we did win a lot of football sure. games and we had a blast doing it together. What's the difference between college and, and the NFL now that you've had a taste of ball? Ooh, you know, the NFL is just a business is, is, is what it is. It's a, it's a different feeling. It's, it's a different culture. And even though it's still football and, and the schemes and a lot of things are the same, uh, the locker room's kind of the same. There's just that, that different part of it that has to do with money and how they treat you. and. Uh, you know, sometimes you, you end up a free agent and you don't know what's going to hap happen next. So uh, that's the biggest difference. But uh, in the end, football's football and, uh, you know, love the game. I want to keep playing. Trevor, as a college player, you earn a scholarship. As a pro player, you earn a paycheck. Big difference. Yeah, and a few magnitudes of, uh, of zeros. <laughs> difference, you know, you, you talk about the differences, though. The, the thing in the NFL that you become to realize is that you are a commodity. And yeah. it's not personal. It's just the way it is. You are pork bellies. You are orange juice concentrate. You are copper. You are a side of bacon. That's what you are. And they prod you and they poke you and they evaluate you the same way they evaluate livestock in an auction yard. Right. And then they determine your worth and someone makes a bid on you. And if you take that personally, it, it'll really make you mad. That really you know? doesn't sound very good. It's hard to disassociate yourself with that emotion. That's why we have agents. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of guys that are smart enough to go and negotiate their own contract very often. But you don't want to sit there and have them tell you all the reasons why you're horrible. And that's what they do in negotiations. So, you know, you've got to disassociate yourself with the, with the business side in order to not be bitter at the, at the guys that are actually paying you at the end of the day. Max, forecast the senior season for Riley Nelson. I think he's going to do great. I think I think he's been working really hard. I think he's a guy who pays attention to the details. And for the first time in his career, he's getting reps. I think that's been really big for Riley. He just hasn't had the reps right. that, like, say, I got. By the time I got to my senior year, I had a million gazillion reps. And Riley just hasn't had that. So I think now as he gets those reps and he's with his guys in the offseason, I think that chemistry is going to develop for him. I think he's going to have a great senior year. I think you're going to win a lot of games. Trevor, we'll see you on ESPN. Let's I'll see you there. back in the league, all right? Good yeah. luck with free agency and, and uh, get into a camp and hopefully see you this fall. That's the plan. Winning as quarterback in the history of BYU Max Hall and a man with a national championship ring, the center from the 1984 team, Trevor Maddox.